For Tim Alden, truck driving is in his blood. I've been doing this a long time. I'm a third generation driver. And for over three decades, he's hit the highways as a coast-to-coast -coast trucker, most recently with Decker Truck Line and alongside his co-pilot, Gunnery Sergeant Barney. I call him Gunny. He's my English bulldog. And it was on one of those trips last month on I-70 near Stratton, Colorado, the duo happened upon a crash where one car had crossed the median and was T-boned by a pickup towing a camper, with one still smoking. I automatically grabbed my fire extinguisher because when you have smoke coming from a car, you're subject to have a fire. Especially in the grass. Olden says it was thankfully rainy that day, so no fire ever started. So he and other drivers split up to help those inside, with him going to the one that had been T-boned. The whole passenger side was caved in. We had to pop the back window glass out so we could get in, so we could get the front door unlocked to get it open to see if they could get out. Olin says one passenger got out themselves while he and a trauma nurse helped the other. They then set up chairs for them to rest on while emergency crews responded. They really are heroes out on the highway. And this month, Olden's actions were recognized by the Truckload Carriers Association's Highway Angel Program, which has honored nearly 1,300 truckers since 1997. Just being willing to, to stop and help out and uh, kind of provide some of the you know creature comforts, getting them those chairs and uh, just, just being there for the folks after, you know, they experience going through that accident. Olden says he was just doing what truckers are obligated to do, but adds getting the award feels good. He says his new dispatcher nominated him after he told her what had happened and says he only wanted to explain why he was running late. Usually that's how it happens with truck drivers. We normally try to, we do what we can when we can. Cameron Thompson, CBS 6 News.